at this moment, he knew he done goofed up. So it's about 7.30 right now in the morning and you can see it's a cloudy day in Jonesboro and I believe it's going to be cloudy as well when we're going up to St. Louis. And I think it's going to be just a little bit colder there, maybe about a 5 degree difference, but still I'm pretty excited for it. We're going to go see a concert tonight, King's Kaleidoscope, and I'm going to be trying to vlog as much of this trip as I can. Now we are supposed to meet up at 7.30 so I am get kind of... I'm running a little bit out of time, but we're not gonna leave until eight, so it should have just a little bit of time to spare. All right, guys, we're done gassing up. And like I said, it is gonna be a little bit colder in St. Louis, so maybe I should have brought a jacket. I'm sure it's not gonna be um, that bad. I know for tomorrow, it's gonna be, the high is gonna be like 66, so we should be fine. It's just, I guess the nighttime is gonna be about 40 something. But yeah, I guess hope it doesn't rain on us um, like it usually does when we try to go somewhere. It tends to be the usual. And I'm just going to go meet up with some of the peeps right now. We are driving there, so I don't know um, how much I'm going to actually be able to vlog while I'm driving there. So I guess we'll see. Casey's also driving too. I'm more of the luggage person. And I guess notice that there are quite a few officers out and about today. Um, then again, it is Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. And just looking back at some of the things that I packed, I guess hope I packed everything that I needed. Now again, we're only going to be staying there for tonight, and we're going to be leaving tomorrow. So it's not like I need a whole lot of stuff for a week-long trip. So I don't know if I told you guys this beforehand, but St. Louis is actually a near four hour drive from Jonesboro. And I thought I was driving pretty slow, but it turns out that I was driving pretty fast because Casey and them um, are still 30 minutes behind me. And um, I left after they did. So I'm just gonna chill here at this Dollar General for a little while for them to catch up. Decided to go inside and pick up one of these as a snack, the orange cream, uh, I guess, Wart Man's brand. Oh, sugary wafers, or I guess sugar free wafers. Also got a canister of vanilla Coke. Let's try this out. Oh, yeah, that's good. I've always been a fan of vanilla Cokes. So. Let's try one of these real quick. It's about 10, 15 right now. I haven't really had that much to eat. So they don't look too much different than a regular vanilla wafer, but as soon as you open the package, it does um, smell like orange cream, more like the orange cream soda. There we go. So here we go, it's like, pieces are falling apart everywhere. And it's actually pretty good. Um, it's got a pretty good mixture of the cream and the wafers. And it does taste like orange cream, which I'm kind of surprised. All right guys, so we are back on the road once again. And we somehow turned this four hour plus drive into <laughs> what, like 40 seconds? And I'm not sure why the GoPro footage turned out to be just a little too bright in this. I think it might have been one of my settings that I um, forgot to set right. And so if it does look a little off, I apologize for that. Um, but you can just see St. Louis is a beautiful city, even on a cloudy day like this. And it did rain on us a couple of times. It wasn't big rain or heavy rain. It was just a little sprinkle and that was it, thankfully. And so you can just see some of the traffic here. It's not as busy as it will be in some of the clips that you're going to see later on, which the traffic just gets way too hectic. Um, but then again, it is to be expected with a big city like this. Again, I really enjoyed 
filming this little spot as we were on the way to the arch. Now by this time though guys, Casey and them were already at the arch. I was running just a little bit late. Google Maps took me to a couple places that just plain out didn't make sense. And so I had to backtrack a little bit and try to find my way to where the arch really was. And they actually ended up parking in one of the parking garages to the right. And this was about the same time too that Clay called me to make sure that I was on track and that I was going in the right direction to where um, they were. Now, we didn't exactly park at the same spot, but I parked close to Hello? it. Hello? Hey Peter, did you get things figured out? I think so. Apparently Google Maps took me the wrong way. And you can actually see the arch just to your left there. I know the screen is really bright, so it might be a little hard to see, um, which is kind of disappointing. And the footage here too, which was recorded on my phone, ended up being a little too bright too. And not to mention, it seemed like there was an earthquake happening at the same exact time. What's up, guys? I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I'm scared. We're going up. This is like a ride at Disney World, but like... Is it like gonna, gonna drop straight down or what? No, when you yep, go down, yep. you go exactly down the way that you came up. Oh, that's no fun. Or no, then. you go down the other side, if I'm not mistaken. Like you go full. Oh, no. Here, we're about to see the line. Or not. Oh. If this thing stops. Like a Ferris wheel. <laughs> I would just close my eyes. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah
Alright guys, so check out the place that we're going to be staying at. Let's check this out. Welcome Casey and friends. Enjoy your stay. That's awesome. Uh, I guess I'll give you like a little tour of the whole crib. We got a little chillaxing room. Got a nice size TV in here slash living room area. Got a pretty good view of the outside too. Please look awesome, guys. I wonder how much it costs to actually live here, like permanently. Get your grub on with the fine dining. She's vlogging as well. <laughs> oh, also, my mom sent her driver's license. Got one of the bedrooms right here, and a mini bed. <laughs> And hey, there's me. But yeah, guys, this place looks really sweet. Um, it's like huge too. And this is going to be our room. Looks really cool, by the way, guys. I'm sure I've already said that a thousand times. We even got a TV for ourselves, a nice fan. And let me see if I can get you a good look at the view outside because this is so cool. We even got like a little table out there too. I don't think we're going to be using um, any of that outside, but it is cool to know that we have that. Just a little kitchen area with the stove and everything and uh, got a nice fridge right here with some of the house rules I wonder if they left us anything inside oh well looks like we got some free condiments um, anybody need some uh, condiments and a whole bunch of ice Hmm. Alright, there we go. So I guess this just leads to the outside area, the back area. But yeah guys, really cool. I just love that. <laughs> The coolest thing ever. Oh, uh, here's like the little shower section. Oh, wow, really fancy. Let's turn this place about 30 degrees. See if anybody notices.
Hey, what about that barbecue place? What, are they closed? Yes, it's closed for Mother's Day. Alright guys, so we did not skip lunch, although we did have a pretty late lunch though. We headed over to a place called City Diners. Um, I'm not sure if it is a local place to St. Louis or not, but we were going to go to Roosters instead, but they were closed on Mother's Day. And so we went to City Diners. Solid choice. <laughs> I'll take a bite on camera. That is a lot of. That's really good. Do you want to have this? Okay. That. What is that? Is it any meat? Oh. Hot meat. It's probably very hot. Now. This actually looks like a vlog. Like. Very hot. Extremely hot. <laughs> Extremely hot. Allie, so hot. are you sure you don't want one? Yeah. Is it bad right? to review the flavors, everybody? Not right now. Okay. Why? Tell me when you want me to stop recording. Zoom in. Tell us what <laughs> That's what he thought. Are your fries good though? And by the way, the ravioli that I tried was almost scalding hot. It was pretty tasty, but it was still very hot though, as you could tell by my facial expressions. And just looking over some of the things they have on their menu, um, one thing that stood out to me was the rib fingers, which is what I got. And it just turned out to be uh, ribs, barbecue ribs. And another thing was the all-you-can-eat fried chicken. Yes, they have that at City Diners. And if you can tell already, this is a Marilyn Monroe-themed restaurant, so I thought... Um, that was pretty cool and added a pretty nice touch to it. Alright guys, so let's dig into these ribs. It took quite a bit of time for them to prep the food for us. And I'm not exactly sure which type of seasoning or sauce they used for the ribs. I don't think it tasted like a, a Memphis style barbecue sauce. Or if it was like a more on the lines of a St. Louis style barbecue sauce. But overall though, it was pretty tasty and I enjoyed it. The ribs were very tender and very flavorful. Now I will admit that it was more on the peppery side, which I wasn't that big of a fan of, but still though, it was pretty tasty. And at this point of time too, everybody was starving. I was starving. We just wanted to get some food ASAP. Because I'm not going to lie, I'm gonna admit that I was running on low before we came to City Diner because the only thing that I had prior was the wafers I had like hours before this. And I guess it was worth it in the end because we were all so full after eating. Zambuski's car wash. <laughs> Dancing. Oh. Uh, my friend in the plaid shirt. Give her a tap. Good man. Uh, 
The song is called A Melody for Anxieties and Things of the Sort. I think the show is back to up there to <laughs> And finally guys, this is the part that everyone has been waiting for, I'm sure. I should have put this in the beginning of the video, but I guess I don't want to drag the beginning too long. At this moment, he knew he done goofed up. But even though this road was short guys, it was still sketchy and I feel bad for my tires for having to drive down this road. I'm not sure if you can see but um, to my right there's like a small little area with like a whole bunch of um, cut up pieces of wood. It almost seemed like it used to be a little jungle over here before they decided to chop it all down um, with a lot of that too being in the road. And obviously it doesn't seem like the most clean place ever. It almost seems to be abandoned light just judging from some of the buildings on the left. It's like Google Maps must have been out of their mind because not only did they want me to drive down this road which is already sketchy enough to begin with, um, what you're seeing here is that I actually went down this road prior and had to turn around because there wasn't another road to go along it was just a dead end even though on this road Google Maps told me to take a right which was absolutely nothing it was just grass unless you want me to drive on the grass it's like this please continue driving on grass for three quarters of a mile and then take a left I'm um, quite the bumpy terrain too and I have no idea what I'm doing here, guys. Um, I was just told to take another left and into this other sketchy little area. And then next thing you know, I was told to take another right. And this road was especially bumpy as well. If you can tell by the multiple, multiple potholes. And I was just trying to avoid some of them by driving to the other side. Which turned out to be in my favor because there wasn't any other vehicles to be seen but this area just seems to be a mess it must have been the back roads of St. Louis or something I think Google Maps was trying to lead me to the back side of the arch which wasn't really open for the public and as you can see it was not made for the public to go down all of these roads that you just saw me take and right about now you'll see that there's a little restricted area Oh, here we go, another set of railroad road tracks. I must be doomed. And yes, Google Maps obviously told me to keep going straight down this way, even though there were obviously um, road barriers there. And what's funny was I actually saw another vehicle come down this road um, just before I did, so I thought maybe he knew where he was going, but um, in the, what you're about to see here is that he actually made a U-turn and backed out. Alright guys, to wrap up day one in St. Louis, um, it has been amazing so far aside from uh, being legitimately lost in St. Louis. <laughs> but that's going to be it guys, day one in St. Louis down the books. We have made it this far, now on to day two. And you know what's up, new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Be sure to follow me on social media. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and share the video if you enjoyed it. Go press the subscribe button. Knock it out. As always, have yourself a nice day and subscribe to join the club. You know it.